right, good evening and welcome to the pitch on Truth TV. My name is Ernest Downey, and this is another edition that the Lord has blessed us with. And um, today is a very interesting day. You know what? First of all, this program is uh, powered by One App Media, a digital marketing uh, that, that, that agency that focuses on the management of social media um, accounts for individuals and businesses. Uh, we are live on Facebook and on uh, YouTube at Truth TV. You can join us and then let's share this together. Uh, today uh, has been a wonderful day. You know what? I get a student who is in business, is running business as well as schooling at the University of Ghana. Uh, we want to look at whether it is possible to run your own business start and manage your own business while in school. We're going for a quick commercial break. When we come back, we we'll delve into some conversations around this topic. Stay here. A key concern for entrepreneurs is ensuring there is sufficient inflow of cash, especially at the early stage of their business where there is low sales revenue. Investors in this regard have become the only point of contact. However, investors do not just put in money in businesses. They do so based on a tall list of considerations. My name is Ernest Downey and I welcome you to The Pitch, where we discover and connect smart business ideas with investors and markets. The Pitch shows this and every Wednesday on Truth TV at 8 p.m. Thank you. So you're welcome back to the pitch. Like I told you, my name is Ernest Dunn. Today, we are engaging a student who is at the same time an entrepreneur. You know what? He does business using his colleagues in, on campus while going to school. We're going to be engaging uh, my brother, Edwin Ejari, Kodio Winston, to tell us how he's able to combine academics and business. You're welcome, my brother. Thank you very much. Thank how you have you been? Much. Well, I've been fine. I've been fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us something about yourself? I'm Edwin Ejai, Kojo Winston. Okay. As you said, I'm in the University of Ghana, reading political science and history. Political science and history? history. Yeah, All right. political okay. science and history. Good. Okay. Yeah, so I, I was born in Kaswa. That's okay. where I was here with my mom before I went to St. Augustine's College. Okay. I also was a prefect and learned most of the rudiments of my business. Did you say you were a prefect? Yeah. Okay. What what prefect? House prefect. Okay. House prefect. Yeah. So okay. house prefect, most of the times we want to make more money, so we want to sell something. Okay. To the juniors, and if I tell you to buy something, you can't say you not buy. So that's it's where I learned. Pause or, really. Yeah, you have to buy it well. But okay. obviously, and I learned some things from. I was close to my. Uh, the seller, the okay. one seller around the school. So I learned a lot of things with regards to catering and other things. So I began to sell. Well, what were some of the things you learned specifically? We had something called chocolate roll, okay. plantain chips mm -hmm. that she was doing herself. Okay. So I learned some of how, how she does it and how she's able to make profit from it. Wow. Yeah. So you can do all of these things. Yeah. This one, growing up also, I had this great, uh, this great, feature of how I'm able to pick things up with regards to food. Okay. I like it and I feel so proud when I do something and people enjoy it so much. Okay. So I remember when I was a little, little, my mom said I just started preparing rice, frying stuff and she was at me. She was like, how darling, I just come around here in the kitchen and I just pick it up all of a sudden. And if I do it and they said, they were like, oh, it's nice, but wow. I slept small, I'll be happy and I'll be like, so I saw that it's something inherent to get the episode. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So now you are reading political science and history mm -hmm. at the University of Ghana. Yeah. Level 300. Yes. Wow. So how have you been able to combine this your business? And in, in the first place, how do you do the business on campus? So the business on campus, level 100, I started level 100. So I got the idea. You started from level 100. Level 100. As soon as yes. you joined the school. 
No, no, no. That. I spent some time. Okay. I spent okay. some time. Uh, I think a uh, first semester, in the okay. second semester. Mm-hmm. I got the idea. I'm someone that's from child. I enjoyed making popcorn very yeah, much. So yeah. I went online and I enjoyed making popcorn, uh, eating popcorn. But okay. if I check around Ghana, the way we do our popcorn and things, is some um, just pour powder and make on it. There's no traction that's added. So I went online and I was like, mm-hmm. but how, how do other countries go about their popcorn and things? And I realized there's a lot of traction and a lot of vibe they add to the popcorn that okay. Ghana is which not are, yet. Which are some of the vibes? So they, have, they have like over 81 flavors. Whilst okay. Ghana, we have only powdered milk. They have ginger, they have honey, they have peanut, they have Oreo, they oh, have really? chocolate syrup. You have strawberry syrup. I had a lot of things, and even we have inns like mm. the way we have someone has built a restaurant okay. only for popcorn with uh, a different different flavors yeah, and other yeah. things. Like. And so it's like mm. since I enjoy this, why don't I learn it? So this, I this is a big opportunity. To big opportunity, and I also have that gift of picking things very very fast with regards to food. So yeah. I went online. Mm. I went to there's one two brothers that started call them Keno. They supply thousands of boxes okay. within month uh, within two weeks wow because that's the only thing they do they supply to school supermarkets and they also make it in a rubber seed packages okay that's around so that's where like, branded. wow Ghanaians, we make we produce corn but we are joking with regards to popcorn and we are not doing a lot of things so i start i, I was like let me start this in school the mm-hmm. girls they like it mm-hmm. but it, it depends on the traction that you add to it. You put it in a rubber for them, mm-hmm. and you just put, do not buy it. Do don't respect like it. it. Yeah. They want something they want well branded, branded, well branded yeah. in a package. And yes. Don't don't do anything for them. So I was like, so this is good, but I don't have a location, and I can't see because I don't have a location. I don't have where to be stand up because I'm so schooling. so because the location didn't have to be a stumbling block for at all, at all, at all. At all. And regardless, yeah. we had a lot of people that are doing something. I had a friend. Who does nails and she that's what she uses to pay a school fees. Wow. I was like, wow, what wow. am I what am I doing? She uses the nails, the to nails pay. to pay, yeah, to pay so a school fees. That means she just be in her room. She will post it online. If you want to make your nails, you, you come go to her room. Her. She has she, and she's very good at it. So that's in a in a hostel, in her hostel. Campus, okay. And you have like three girls waiting that when she's done, so Saturdays mm-hmm. she can make like thousand something. Wow. I'm like wow. wow so what am i doing this is smart i can't be i can't i can't let and she really need to pay a school fees yeah and yeah. because the mom is taking care of the other kids and other yeah kids. so and she, she has to, to do something to pressure. support yeah what is going on so this is one of the things that i was like i have no excuse yeah. i have no excuse but i wanted to grow it a little mine is not like the new so yeah i had as i was telling i had a lot of female friends sure so i spoke to them and the good thing is that you have a lot of people in different halls. Mm-hmm. They go, we have Ivandi, we have Nelson, we have Commonwealth, mm-hmm. we have uh, those outside campus, we have yeah. Pens. Yeah. So yeah. we are like eight, nine halls okay. and hostels around. Mm-hmm. So I was like, wow, so this is how I'm going to do it. I can't. To... Mm-hmm. So the, I can't, I don't have money to buy machines and give it to all of them. Yeah. So this is what we have. We have a microwave way of making it. Okay. And also have a mini machine. Mm-hmm. So if I'm in Nelson, okay. I mean I was in Nelson by then, and I wanted to make it very convenient so that everyone would try it. I made delivery free, mm-hmm. so I spoke to the friends, those okay. that are close to us, and I taught them how to do it. Wow. You see, I told you I learned. I went to learn the new way. We had yes, different yes. flavors. People were not used to them. So you, you want to tell me about some of the ingredients that you include in your your flavor? What what are some of them? So we have something like Oreo flavor. Or Oreo, Oreo it's a biscuit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Oreo is a lot of a biscuit that a lot of females and people yes. enjoy. Mm-hmm. So I crush it. Okay. You crush it, mm-hmm. and you have something like chocolate syrup. Okay. So after you've crushed it, mm-hmm. you crush it into a bowl, okay. and you make your popcorn okay. with a very little sugar, wow. and you pour your powdered milk on it, mm-hmm. and you spread it on the popcorn. Okay. And you stay. It. So is that the only ingredient you add to? For the yeah. Okay. For now. Mm-hmm. Now. You have the intention to add some of the things you mentioned that other countries uh, that we yeah, can have different okay. flavors. This one flavor I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so right. you okay. pour the chocolate spread on it. Yeah, yeah, you steal it, and when you enjoy it, it's mm-hmm. so nice as compared to the, the, yeah, the, powder, the other ones. Popcorn and powdered milk. Okay. okay. Yeah, so I taught them. I think I told them we have plantain chips and popcorn. Okay. 
Right. So you, you actually organized a team. Right? Yeah, I organized a team. Some people from each of the halls. Each of the halls. Train them so that they can be doing for yes. their halls. And you can't, most of them, to motivate them, you have to yeah. tip them something or give them something. So that's because they're also sacrificing something. I was going to ask you how you do that. Yeah, okay. sacrifice something. So yeah. I taught them, I made sure that some of them from my testing were also close to me. Very okay. cool. And there were people that I, I could instruct. Mm -hmm. Because I was that year, I very could instruct. So I knew that if I'm giving it to them, I can direct them as to how they're, yes. they're going to go about things. So okay. I spoke to them, they were about eight. Okay. <laughs> Only one was a guy and the rest mm -hmm. were females. Wow. Yeah, so I spoke to them. Of you that. like dealing with females, yeah? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> a week. If you are able to sell this amount, so if you sell one, mm -hmm. you have this amount. So, so they, 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 they sell based on commission? They sell more based like, on commission. And okay. if you are able to sell more, you have like 20, I want 20 cities, 20 cities free okay. in addition to the commission you can make. Yeah. So it incentivized them and they had a lot of female friends. Mm -hmm. So when I started, it wasn't really going, but when they started trying, someone would buy and taste it. And then bring their own women mates to come and buy. Definitely. And one of the hindrances that I didn't have was because delivery was free. People was because people don't like the situation whereby they bought have to. Pop, the popcorn to, because my package, I made the package very well mm -hmm. and everything. It was close to I think eight cities. Okay. With, together with all the food. Some would be like, mm. how that, that's the production cost. Eight that is, yeah, like that was the price. Yeah, per one. Per one. The production cost per one was eight cities. Yeah. So how 18. much do you sell? I'm I'm talking about it like the past the price I give to them like oh, okay, yeah, okay for them to pay. Oh, okay. But the product the cost of mm -hmm. everything was not eighty cities, but okay. yeah, to get some profit and also for definitely yeah. yeah. So, but so, so in, in all of these things, how does this affect your academics? You you are studying political very, science. Yeah, political education. How does that uh, all of these things affect your studies? So firstly, the reason why it helped a little, like I was able to go away with it okay. it didn't really affect me was the fact that i had people so if someone is ordering mm -hmm. and someone is in nelson okay. i don't have to walk from my hall mm -hmm. to that person so of course i have a representative yeah that's so that i would just have to call time. rebecca mm -hmm. that where are you and be like this person wants this when i'm done send it to her room okay. and deliver it free mm -hmm. and other things yeah but sometimes we will have class you have because of that because of the business i stopped that's going it. for tutorials Oh, really? Because tutorials so, is like if the teacher teaches mm -hmm. you and you are not able to understand. Yeah. And me too, I'm that person that like the moment you teach and I go it's to just, read about it. And it's also politics. Yeah. Politics is about reading about the news and trying to relate what's up. But it's so happening. I try to make sure that I'm not going for any tutorials. So one when we go to class and so the period you would use for your tutorials, you used to do the production. I used for to do the product, make the production. Oh, so if I, I go see. to class, I know that. I'm not, I don't have a tutorial. Does it period. affect your academics, like your performance? A little. It affected it a little. Okay. So when I go to class, I know that I have to listen to everything uh -huh. and make sure that I'm not coming back for tutorial. So yes. I have to make sure. So whilst people are trying to sleep and also some people talking around, I make sure I pay attention. Okay. But the tutorials too, is, the reason why it's very important is you get time to sometimes the TA, the teaching assistant, yes. give so them come and tips of some of the questions that are coming. Yeah. And how we should approach the questions, but I will not ha have all the resources. So, the what the lecture of demand, I will not be able to provide everything because I didn't. I wasn't at tutorials. And sometimes we give marks for tutorials, okay. like five marks. So moving into level four hundred, you are going to be more engaged. More engaged in terms of the academics and all of those things. Exactly. Do you think you can do that aside your business, or you think you have to quit the business? And and one school? thing I realize is we have organized a lot of programs right now. I've even reduced the how like the room to room something okay there's more money in programs we organize program also a church okay guy. then you go and yeah, then we have something like a gospel uh, show mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so we have 500 people coming okay. 800 people coming and because i'm a leader like you, you most of you fail to come from our program <laughs> <laughs> we have 500 700 mm -hmm. people because we invite guests to come okay. and they'll give the this thing to me that oh because we have this program let's make a ticket Mm. and give them free popcorn and okay. my job comes so yeah we'll be able so to supply now, enough wow, wow. supplies for all of them and that day i can make get into 2000 we also have some get into 2000 yeah just, just for that program. Program. yeah wow. i see so i, I saw see. that there was much in that and yeah. also 
with regards to Val's day, the Val's day was just mm-hmm. yes, percent. we had a lot of churches, wow. a lot of team organizing mm-hmm. these shows and other things. So even it got to a time I was getting uh, people were calling me from here. We want because they realized that mine is not a usual yeah, yeah popcorn, normal, and popcorn salt and other and things. Market. I give a different traction that comes with it, and people enjoy it. Wow. So they wanted my own. So I had to separate mm-hmm. and I had to make some of my friends go here. And even some people I couldn't send them. Wow. Yeah, so I'm um, trying to make it very broad. That's so beautiful. Go here and if I go here. So we've been engaging Eugene Ejari Kojo Winston, a student of the University of Ghana who doubles as an entrepreneur who sells at least 2,000 in a program. We'll, we'll be going for a break, and when we come back, we'll continue the conversation. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> A key concern for entrepreneurs is ensuring there is sufficient inflow of cash, especially at the early stage of their business, where there is low sales revenue. Investors in this regard have become the only point of contact. However, investors do not just put in money in businesses. They do so based on a tall list of considerations. My name is Ernest Downey and I welcome you to The Pitch, where we discover and connect smart business ideas with investors and market. The Pitch shows this and every Wednesday on Truth TV at 8 p.m. Thank you. Alright, so you are still live on True TV and this is the pitch. My name is Ernest Dawini. I've been engaging a student entrepreneur at the University of Ghana, how he does his business, how he's able to use his business to support his academics. There are a lot of people out there who think that you have to finish school, I mean finish school after your four years, you go do your national service of one year and acquire a job and all of that. Uh, we want to find out from Eugene. Edwin, what what Edwin. what Ed, Ed, Edwin. Edwin, okay, yeah. good, sorry. What, what, what are your plans? Do you intend to build on this business after school? Or what do you think to do? What do you want to do? Yeah, so from my, what I've seen from other people who are, who are doing very well with regards to business and other things, we had a lot of people who started from where I was. Yeah. So we have example like Chicken Man, Pizza Man. Yeah. We have people I, I know personally. So. Okay. I'm not depending solely on my education or other things. It's not that I'm not good academically. Yeah. I'm a first class student. Okay. But I Fantastic. think sometimes you have to create something out of you. And I told you it's something that is my passion, that I love to do things yeah. that yeah. people enjoy. So when I'm when I'm, a, I'm booked for a program and I go to say, and people come to me, and they'll be like, how did you do it? And how did you learn it? I feel happy that I'm able to produce something that no one is... I don't know if someone is, or someone is people don't know about it and they are amazed about it. Okay. It's not about just book and other things. So one of my motivations is about the fact that I do something people enjoy and it's also selling. It's also I'm also making money from it. So yeah. with regards to my plans, mm-hmm. I'm planning on. You see, we need more funds. I've been able to accumulate some funds. And I'm trying to see how my schooling is going to take me okay. and. Currently, we are planning on getting a location. Getting a location is very important. Yeah. Trying to get somewhere that we know that. And I've added, I, have, I told you it's Ed's popcorn and fruits. Yes. We have other things. We have smoothies. We have plantain chips and chocolate. We have sandwiches. We have other yeah. things that I told you I can learn a lot of things. Yes. Yeah, yes. So yes. There, there, we have to get a place <clears> so that we can keep our staff. And there are a lot of, as with regards to the problems that I, I was facing, mm-hmm. sometimes you are doing it in the hall and the whole teacher will come and catch you. Yeah, yeah. If they catch you, you you either pay a fine. Okay. So have you you, been have you paid a fine before? Oh, we had to speak to him. We had to speak to him and something to something small. Yeah. Because sometimes it's not allowed for you to be using the the hostels electricity Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. up. Yeah. To be using it like that. So sometimes we have to steal ourselves or try to navigate some places. 
there. And sometimes too, you don't, it's not allowed to keep you. I'm the one who keeps the big machine. Okay. So sometimes after a program and you come in there, one of the managers is around you, you can't enter. Sometimes you have to stay outside for a long time before he goes. Yeah. Because I would have to go and bat and prepare for the next game. Sure. I have to wait. So these are some of the problems we are facing. So it's very prudent to get a place okay. that's like, know that I'm here and I'm located here. Okay. And if I'm booked for this program, I'll just have to carry my, to my tools and send it there. Mm-hmm. And someone also wants to come, the person can also see. So we want to move from our subsistence level okay. of just from means and other things there. And online also, right now everything is online. Yeah. Too. Like increase our list whereby people will see that okay, there's a different thing, so why don't also put them? And I also need more people so that I told you about the you had more to, people to work with, more people to work with because you have to work with someone that you trust, not yeah. someone who will steal from you. Because yeah, I told you I work with people who I trust and people I can instruct, yeah. So when maybe Val's Day and people have four organizations, some place are wedding some place at maybe a school or something okay. or a sporting event for people inviting me i can just you go here so you, you actually get you invites from those people you get yeah That's because i was in instagram i created an instagram account and yeah i was yeah. posting what i was doing and some of the programs that i went That's and how the ladies were dancing and the package itself yeah and other things here yeah. so people see they'll be like wow why don't i try it here mm. wow so that yeah. So, so uh, I mean, I mean, this program is intended to actually discover smart business ideas, and then we intend to link those ideas with investors and markets. So maybe you're watching, and then you are an investor, or you were looking for, I mean, to put money in an idea. I think this is a brilliant idea that any investor would want to, you know, invest into because there's a lot of a lot of um, opportunity around this this area. But you, I mean, I mean, Winston, right? Mm. I always mistaken you by using. So um, you talk about the online and then how you do your packaging. In all of these things, it involves a lot of money. Like when starting out, you've you've shared a little about how you started, but then did you require any capital to start? How did you? Yeah, obviously you had to get a machine. Okay. You had to get. How much is the machine? I people liked the nine, the colored one. I was telling you, I'm going to the university mm-hmm. and. Especially the girls, I realized something that if something that ladies like, people yeah. like it. So mm. you are doing something ladies don't like. So I had to get a foreign one. The foreign one is more colored. Okay. It's more. Of, they have a lot of like the light is more brighter mm-hmm. and it's more bigger. And we have the local one, and I needed a foreign one. The local one it becomes so black, and you see some functions you have to. Maybe a, a, I don't product. understand. You mean the product of what it brings or the machine itself? The machine itself. The okay. machine itself. Getting the machine. Does the machine matter? Oh, it matters it because where you send it. Mm-hmm. Because let me say, I'm yes, I'm sending it to one someone's church. Okay. Sometimes they will allow you to send it inside, and mm-hmm. they don't want something rusty. Okay. The metal looking so black. Okay. But for the but for the foreign one, it does not come and it's more of colored. Okay. And for children programs. Mm-hmm see children because when i was doing i had a dark foresight that i don't want anything low okay. so yeah, children yeah, program yeah. they want something colorful mm. yeah so i had to so i had to sacrifice a lot of things so when i'm going to school my dad gives me everything okay he gives me the one for books and other things so the, the thing was the machine was around thousand thousand nine or something together with the stand there was a stand around it and a lot of packages that they brought with it mm. yeah so i had to sacrifice my money for books okay money for books, money, some my pocket money yeah. and other things and some money my mom told uh, gave to me and other things. So I had to sacrifice that one to get the machine. And after that to the package. Mm. I had to do a package that people really like. Yes. So Something I was able to get a friend attractive. who is who knows someone. Okay. So I was able to pay it in installment. Okay. So I spoke to the friend and the friend was like, Oh I know someone in my church who is into this paper nice package. You can do everything. So okay. I have sketched my design I gave to him, and he did everything and I was paying it small, small. So wow. when I make money, I come and pay it. So wow. the, the money I use so much. And when I started to mm-hmm. all those who go who buy it come with like ten people. Wow. So when I was sta- when I started, it was not really uh, like it was some way it's like yeah. I'm losing. Mm-hmm. But within two weeks, people will be coming that. back, people coming back. So I realized that my money was coming back and I buy just three uh, 
three weeks, four a month, mm. I was able to gain my money back. Mm. And now I started, I knew that I was moving forward. Okay. You get it? And sometimes too, when I started very early, sometimes you go for programs and I went for a sports program on campus, mm -hmm. pharmacy student. Okay. And the extension board was short at Grand for extension board. Mm -hmm. And the time was going. Okay. So by the time I came back, half of the day is gone. Yeah. And I'm now coming to start and I'd paid for the stand. Mm -hmm. And I, I lost I lost money because by the time I started, people had already eaten and yeah. it was happening. And I have to pick a car back. Mm -hmm. So this is this this some of the inconsistencies that yeah. were coming yeah. in regards yeah. to the inconsistency. I realized like it's it's really hard, but subsequently it was not drying because one the passion was there, yeah. and two the money started coming, mm. money started coming. So I started saving, and people even came back to me like I'm doing well. They want to be my, they want to manage whatever I'm doing. Really? Yeah, like a student. Yeah, and they'll be like, oh, she's a business student. She came to me she's like, wow, she likes what I'm doing. She mm. like, knows I'm going to go for it. And the fact that I'm adding a lot of things. So yeah, she wants to. Do I have someone who keeps records like this month? I have this yes. and uh, what what this month? What did you get? Mm -hmm. the, the last month? What did you get? Yeah. What money did you take out? What expenses did you make? Mm -hmm. He wants to manage everything just for free, wow. just to test her skills with regards to marketing and everything. She's like, yeah. wow, this is an amazing idea. If you have a, an income statement mm -hmm. as to what you sell, yeah. the profit you are making, sure. like in intervals, and important. also yeah. And also the losses you are making, it's very prudent. So yeah. she, I, I felt so good that like people believe in what I'm doing, yeah. and they yeah. see that like the future, like things are is going to be very. Pretty. So uh, do you actually? So assuming uh, uh, I'm an investor, and then I want you to tell me something about this idea to convince me to put my money in your business, what would you say? So I'll first tell you about like what I've just already. assume that. Ernest, I'm, a, I'm an investor. I'm going no. to put money in your, in your business. And I'm asking you, Edwin, what is your business about? How can I make money from you? Very good. So, talking about, I'll first give you a scenario of, so this is what I'm going to tell you. Yes. Starting from the rooms, what I told you about the rooms and other things. Yeah. I told you that within a week, I can get like, I think 500 from just the horse, just within a week. Okay. And not, it's not sometimes becomes less. Um, so the horse, each person is providing with an amount. Eight people. Okay. Everyone is providing with an amount. Mm -hmm. So within a month, I have my open somewhere. Yeah. And also within after aside the rooms that I need, we have programs that I attend. Yeah. And it's not only popcorn, we have other ones. We have the sandwich, we have the smoothies, it's popcorn and smoothies. We have that popcorn also and grows milkshake. People yeah. buy those ones. Popcorn and well. ice cream, popcorn and milkshake, the sandwich and other things. Yes. And the plantain chips, chocolate fun, plantain chips and donuts. Right. So aside the money I'm making from the whole, right, I'm going to show you my my uh, income statement. Aside okay. the money I'm making from the horse, mm -hmm. there's money that I also make from what the program that I'm going. Wow. And one of the things that to make you see that like in future is going to really make money is one about the reply I get from my customers okay. and how they demand it. Okay. And within a short while, how I've been able to get, I think times five of the capital I started with. Wow. And even because of my academics, mm -hmm. one, because of my academics, I'm not able to keep more time into it. And second, we go for vacation. Yeah. And just within a year, I've been able to get times five of the capital I started with. Mm -hmm. I take some of the money to buy some things for myself. Yeah. I take some of the money to do other things. But I have times five of the amount. Okay. One, I don't have a location. Mm -hmm. I just steal myself inside rooms. Just with people. Mm -hmm. Imagine I have a location. Imagine you invest into my business and I have a location. Mm -hmm. Two, I told you there are sometimes that people invite me for programs that I cannot go. Five people will be calling me, but I have to go for only three okay. because that's the machines are not a lot. Mm -hmm. I have to just. I don't have the human resources. So a world whereby one, I have a location that I know that people are here, people are producing, okay. and two, a world whereby I know that I have different, different, different. I uh, have a lot of people that I can pay because sometimes the people we have to pay them Definitely. so that will go for you and also the machines I have to get a lot of machines mm -hmm. and I told you it's it's open and food so you have other things that you make yeah. there are some things that comes with a lot of cost okay. like smoothies mm -hmm. you have to get some fruits and other things and you can't just go and buy the food and to go but and so you have you need some capital mm -hmm. where it's, sometimes you have to keep them in the fridge and so there's a lot of capital that comes with it yeah, okay. so the best thing is 
spare just a little and the problems that even comes with it i'm doing so well okay. just within a year we went for vacation like for some two weeks so that means when you go for vacation there's no production until the, you come back the one that we have people who are nearby friends who are nearby yes, for that and, the and also events okay. yeah okay. the events because one event you can make a lot because when the people are a lot yeah one event sporting yeah, events make. everyone maybe when we have okay the person will say i'll have eight uh, eight hundred people mm-hmm. and i'll give it to you for three mm-hmm. so okay. eight hundred people times the three three yeah you might want to make two sure almost two thousand four hundred sure and you just make sure you go to the market get some something that's uh, like the market you mm-hmm. see you have people so i get a corn that is not so expensive wow. and look at what you are making mm-hmm. so it's very obvious and i'm very optimistic about the fact that if I get the machines, mm-hmm. get a location, mm-hmm. I'll be able to get times 10 of the money. Okay. Even with regards to the program, the problems I'm having, I'm going to be able to get times five. Yeah. If I get all the convenience, get the people, get the resources, mm-hmm. times 10 is assured. Okay. And I'll be able to even broaden on the other uh, products that I have, that which is not a popcorn. Okay. And it will really boom. Wow. It's really boom. How yeah. much do you need for your business to stand successful? How much? How much do I need? So if uh, we have, oh, I need something like, oh, it's because the location, the location is the paramount thing I want to, I don't know the location, we have some night nice market around our school, mm. I don't know how much it costs. So you were assuming here. that I was an investor, and I asked you this question. I need, like, should have a fair idea of exactly how much you need to you need get like 500,000. Okay, 500,000. 500, Alright, so this is the purpose of the show, as I've always said. We bring in entrepreneurs, people who are starting up businesses or people who are in business who need investment assistance. And then we sometimes invite investors, we look at their perspective. What do they need in entrepreneurs to be able to make investment decisions? So as, an, uh, as, a, as a startup business, you need to know your financial statements, how much you make, how much you put in your business, what you are expecting from an investor should in case you make one. Because in fact, when they meet you, they have they take a lot of things into consideration. And this is uh, this has been the show today. We've been talking about being in school and still uh, doing business. And, and we've engaged uh, uh, Winston. Yeah. And, and uh, we want to thank you. I want to thank you so much for joining us for this edition of The Pitch. Join me same time next week. Goodbye.